captain of the side uh, this afternoon and, and a win under your belt as well. How are you feeling after that one? Yeah, really pleased, obviously, that the manager came in a nod in terms of the captaincy. Um, but most importantly, it was about, about getting a win here uh, at Valley Parade. And, and we did that and we, hopefully we sent the, the fans home happy. It's a feeling that you haven't had at this place for a good long while since mid-January. That in itself is, is a big point, isn't it, to, to have that one ticked off now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was important, especially against Scunthorpe, who have already been relegated. I think it was important that we got the win. Um, so, yeah, we're just really happy that we, we, we did get the win. Uh, disappointed in the second half. I don't think the uh, the intensity levels and how how fast we moved the ball was there, but first half performance was very encouraging. Um, it's just a shame we didn't take that into the second half, but a win's a win and we'll, we'll move on to uh, sort of next Saturday. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that point. I've spoken to Mark Hughes and, and said that initially there was a, a feeling of disappointment amongst the players because you didn't kick on and go on and get a, a big scoreline and then you have to remind yourself that yeah you've actually got the win irrespective of that I suppose it's a fair illustration of how you felt about the game because you did start so well that it felt after five minutes that it could have been a, a demolition job really yeah obviously I think I think it's fair to say in the first half it could have been four or five up we had some great opportunities Charles hit the bar and we had other opportunities um, and obviously we made an error and suddenly the 2-1 uh, and they get some belief, uh, but I think we 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 stuck in, dug dug in, and um, but in the second half, just think we were a little bit disappointed with how we moved the ball. We didn't move it with a purpose. Yeah. Um, but like I said, the win's a win, and we'll go, we'll move on now. Yeah. I want to ask you actually, if I may, about the relationship that you've got with with Charles on that left hand side, and it was a, a relationship that that brewed really on this season. And when you have played together, it's been such an effective part of Bradford City who been the manager at the football club what's that been like for you yeah uh, Charles is a great player um, not just going forward but in terms of his positional defensively as well and you know we're good, we're good friends in the changing room so I think that helps as well but um, yeah he's a great player and you know when I pass him the ball I like to get round him sometimes I don't always get it but it creates space for him um, and likewise sometimes I get round him he plays me in so it's you know it's a I do feel that it's a good relationship that we've uh, created yeah what's the feeling then among the squad now at two games of the season remaining look it hasn't been the season that you will have all have hoped for coming into it but there is a, a vision that's clearly to see now and there's a, a longer term plan so to be a part of that what's it like yeah uh, Sutton Sutton away Saturday we start there um, they're in the playoffs uh, so if we can you know try and hamper their chances of getting in the playoffs because it's really tight up there that's what we're looking to do but like I say we're, looking, we're definitely looking to get six points from them two games finish with a win here at uh, Valley Parade uh, in two weeks on Saturday and hopefully send the, ho uh, the fans home happy uh, with real belief of what can potentially happen next season and just finally, Liam, you, you, you've played for a number of years now. I think you'd probably fall under the experience category, although you might not thank me for that. And, and happy birthday, by the way, on thank that you, front. Um, how does this management setup compare with what you've had previously? We, we know that Mark Hughes comes in with a wealth of experience and he's got his right-hand man with Glyn Hodges. You've worked under so many managers throughout your career. So so what's this been like for you as an experienced player? Yeah, um, I think he's just come in with a really calm head, if I have to say anything. Um, hasn't changed things too much. He just really got us to believe in ourselves and told us that we need to move the ball faster, uh, don't force things when it's not on, and just you know just go out and express yourself. And I think that's I think the the boys have really took that on board, as you've seen in the last eight games or whatever it's been since the managers come in, and and I think the lads have been um, equip, equipping themselves to do that really well. So, uh, but yeah, good times for the football club going forward. Definitely with with, with the gaffer and Glenn in charge. Um, so yeah, just bring on next season.